自分の中でいろいろ考えてってどうしてもやっぱゲームの音楽っていうのは音楽の数が多いんでそれどうやってまとめるかなっていうこととちょうど今割とリズムをオーケストラでしっかり出すやり方をしてるからそれで全体をやってみようというそういうつもりでやりましたね。今回は2回目なので日野さんのこともすごく尊敬してるんでまあまあ,あのこれはやろうとジブリ作品のファンじゃないですかみんな僕も含めだからやっぱ久石さんにやっぱお会いしたらもうすごいこうオーラで本当に緊張しまくったんですけども久石さん熱い人なんで正面からちゃんと付き合おうっていう形でやらせていただきましたね日野さん本当にいろいろ考えられて作ったゲームなんで、あのまあ精一杯作ったし、比較的全体の様子が見えてたんで、あの作りやすかったですよね。ちょっとネソフォルテなんだけど、ちょっと大きめにフォルテに吹いてもらっていいですか？それでえっと22小節目でネソフォルテ下げて。前に比べてちょっとあの音楽的なレベルを上げたというか。難しいっていうわけじゃないんだけどこう知的レベルを上げたアプローチですからちょっとかなりオーケストラは難しいんですよ演奏はだけど本当東京都さんも一生懸命やってくれてとてもいい録音できましたねゲームの常識を超えたところでいろいろ音楽を作ってこられるので戦闘シーンの音楽も普通の RPG の戦闘とはまた一線を画すものだしゲームを超えた音楽性だと思いますねゲームの音楽どうしてもこう繰り返すして聞くわけですよね。ですから繰り返して聞く方法と通常に作る方法ってちょっと違うんですよ。でその中で音楽とそのゲームにハマってもらえると嬉しいかなっていうか浸ってもらうと嬉しいかなと思います。ゲームシステムに関するこうアクション性の度合いというかやっぱりこう時代としてよりアクション性が高くかつあの何て言うんですかね指,指にそのまんまこう吸い付くような操作感というかやっぱりそういう世界共通のやっぱりこう楽しさというかそういうものをやっぱりこうやる上ではワンよりもう一段階アクション性を高めるべきか否かっていうようなところで。結構あの長いことあのスタッフ一度悩んできまして主人公のエヴァン自体がやっぱりその二の国を統一していくというか王となって、えー、国を作っていくっていうところはあのストーリー中やっぱり大きなキーとしてあったものなのでまあ何回か形は変わってはいるんですけどそのキングダムモードっていうところであの国を作るっていう部分はゲームシステムに大きく反映されているものだと思います。まあ、自分の国を作るんですけど各その冒険で立ち寄る町からあの人をスカウトしてきてえっとそれを自分の国の人材として登用してえっと国を発展させていくと。で結果ですねあのそれをすることで例えばその武器の開発ができたり新しい船を作れたりあの魔法の習得ができたりとかえっと冒険にその関わる主人公たちのサポートをその国を大きくすることでやっていく。とということができます例えば具体的なところで言うと、まあ、物語中船を作んないといけなかったりとかあとはあの飛行船を作らなきゃいけないっていう時にはやっぱりその国の施設を使って、えー、っとそこで作るみたいな。Building our new kingdom won't be easy, but we will build it. A beautiful, bountiful kingdom where everyone can live happily ever after. 2の国を冒険する上で,で国同士のやり取りっていうのが
あるとは思うんですけどもやっぱりそれで一つ表現したかったのがその軍団同士の戦いっていうのを、えー、とゲームの中で表現したくてそれで入ったのがあの、まあ、新軍バトル普段はそのエヴァンとかローランとかシャーティーっていうその6人のキャラクターを、えー、とアクションでプレイするんですけど新軍バトルでは軍を指揮するのはエヴァンが指揮するんですけどもそのローランやシャーティー以外のスカウトしたキャラクターたちっていうのを使って4部隊引き連れてバトルをするという形になってますダンジョンに行ったり、えー、まあアクションバトルしたりシングルモードしたりっていうので、まあ、キングダムポイントっていうのが溜まっていってでそのポイントを使っと人材を使って新しい施設を建てたりとかその施設の機能を拡張したりとかっていうことができるようになってるので。まあ、あのエヴァンの全部の行動っていうのがそのキングダムのところに紐づいてくるっていうでキングダムを設置すれば冒険がどんどん有利になってくるっていうような仕組みになってますねアニメの魅力をですねいかに 3D に落とし込むかっていうところが、まあ、二の国の最大の魅力だと思うんですけどもやっぱりそれっていうのがいかにこう 3D 臭さを消すかとかそういったところでポリゴンを感じさせないように、えー、作り込んでいくかっていうところが一番苦労したところでありますね。やっぱり PS4 のマシンパワーを使って何ができるかっていうまあそのアートを考える。身ととししても何かにチャレンジしたいっていうところがあったんですよねでそこでやっぱりその素材感というところであのグランリーフは一つチャレンジをしてるんですでそのチャレンジというのがあそこはあの一見まあ金色のなんかこうあの壁面に覆われたあの町なんですけどあの素材としては真鍮を表現してるんですよね。で真鍮というのはあの独特の風合いがあって重みを出せながらすごくこう。あの味わいがあるというか歴史を感じれるような素材だと思うんです。まあ二の国の、えー、作りで欠かせない一つの何かポイントとしてあるのがライティングなんですけども、まああのシンプルに光を描くということなんですよね。まあ、光を描くっていうことはどういうことかというとですね、その影を描くことなんですけども、でその影を描くということがあのすごく大事で、その影をこう豊かに描いていくことで。あの光自然な光が描けていけるんですけども特にそのあの小物に関してまでもしっかりとこうテーブルの上に置いてあるものの影が落ちてるっていうところまで描いてたりするんですが、まあ、そういったことをやることによって濃密な絵が描けたり、まあ、物の重みとかが描けたりもするわけなんですが、まあ、それとこう全体こう包み込むような大きいこう柔らかい光が描けたり。すするにあたってすごく影の表現はこだわってます、えー、PS3 ではですね、まあ、割とこう手書きのアニメを表現し,てしたかったっていうこともあったので、まあ、あえてあの光も、まあ、手で描いてたようなところがあるんですがテクスチャーなどに、まあ、今回の作り方としてはもう完全に計算でよるあのライティングとなってますね。今作もですねあの 2D アニメーションの世界を歩き回れるようなとっても魅力的な作品になっておりますであの細部に至るまで作り込んでますのであのぜひその二の国の世界観を体験してみてください
Just look at them all. <sighs> This is where it all begins. Yo, Afro, and that's when I told him that's when we're gonna drop the Bardock and Broly trailer. Yeah, how dope is that, right? That's really dope. That, that good day, idea, honestly, day. personally. Oh, hey, so we're live. Oh, we're live right yeah, now. We are live right now. Oh, are we only in trouble for that? Well, how, I much, don't know. how much? How much you guys yeah, hear? Yeah, hopefully they, they didn't catch that date. I, I, I okay. think they didn't. Yeah, I think that's we're right. good. Yeah, hopefully. Well, yeah. We, we never know. We might say it again. Talk later. about it later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're here for Nino Kuni too. Yes, JRPGs, love them. I love them. Your Afro sends you XL. I am. The XL's in my hair. So not that fat. I know you're you're mainly known for like your Naruto videos, but I figure, uh, you know, King Evan's in the game, and then mm -hmm. we have the King of Wakanda here. That's why yes. I invited you out here. All the way, flew all the way I, out I here. I had the King recognized King, and he was looking pretty familiar, okay. personally. And I love JRPGs, so I have to kind of, you know, pay homage to the other kings in the cartoonish worlds. Accurate, <clears throat> King of Wakanda, accurate. you know how it'd be. Before we get into gameplay, I believe uh, this stream is all about the collector's edition unboxing. Yes. Let's get to it. <laughs> See what we got in this box. Yeah. Uh, I, I've, I've seen a little bit. Okay. But I'm going to see it again. Oh, first, you already have it like no tape. Okay, easy. Yeah. First is the box itself right there. Boom. That's Pretty the nice. Back. Tells Pretty you everything square. you get. It's got that glossiness. I tried putting my dog in there. Glossy. Oh, you did? It, uh, it didn't Which work. Which one? The backside or this one? Like in that part. Just he didn't like, like put it on as a bed. Of, it wouldn't fit him. A little bit disappointed, but let's see what else we got in here. The chibi diorama. Did you want to open this yes, up? Yes, I did. I was going to ask you that. Yes, go so for it. this is a diorama. Um, it's because when you play the game, they go into a chibi form. So this is more or less to pay kind of a homage and collector's edition to that. Uh, oh my gosh. Oh wait, the tape's still here. Okay. Do we have tools on hand? Because I don't oh, have fingernails. Need, if, if there's tools involved, don't worry uh, about it. Uh, uh, okay. Well, you know, if if we're not worrying about it, just imagine. All right. The chibis of the main character or the main <laughs> cast in here with uh, one of the monsters, I guess you could fight, and it's on a diorama that you could spin. We can't, we can't crack it open with just our hands. I mean, can you? Oh, I don't have fingernails, so. I thought uh, I seen your picture on. Uh, I've seen your uh, your uh, your picture online. It's got the claws, right? I mean, yeah, that, that's when I have the suit. Oh yeah, that, you know? that's true. You don't have the suit. I don't today. freeze, so. Damn, oh. using my man strength. Good stuff. Bet. Oh. All right, so you get that side. All right, bet. I'll get this side. <laughs> Okay, so this is the diorama itself, and that is the figure that you put on that top of it. That is Long Fang, one of the Kingsmakers, or the uh, Guardians. So, okay. uh, it's the other way. The other way. Yeah. This way? The other way. Because I think the back foot, I got you. Got <laughs> the back foot has the hole, and you put the thing right there, and it's a little bit like a uh. So, um, I'm going to use the directions that you told me. So, yes. on the bottom of it, you have a little Actually, spinny thing. Are those all the figures? That yeah, that's it. It's just you have to put this on top. On the bottom thing, you have a little twisty twisty. So, you twist the twisty twisty until it stops twisting. Uh, hence the twisty twisty. So, you get to it at that point, and it's like in a second, one second. Hold on. Maybe I'm lying. That's a lot of twisting. All right. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, then you told me I push it. Push it or pull it? Pull. Let's see. I you did the twisty twisty. I did the twisty twisty and okay. I moved it to Oh, the you know side. what it is? What? You click it. I clicked it, but it was no moving. Huh. And it feels like it's moving. I was confused on that yeah, one yeah. too. Did we did we break it? Is there another hidden twisty twisty? I don't know. Do you twist the dragon's tail? It, it feels like it's moving. It feels like it's moving, right? Yeah. But like nothing's moving. That is strange. I cranked it all the way. Huh, that is a good question. <laughs> I don't know why it's not moving. We'll have to figure it out later. But yeah. that's the diorama there. There's like some it's trick a, yeah. to it. There, I just there don't is understand a trick to it. What I wonder it if, yeah, I wonder if I'm missing something here. Regardless, it looks really cool though, yep. because of that, because you have like the Nino Kuni like embroidery on the, like in the front of it. You mm -hmm. got the wooden stuff. You got the chibis. Uh, you would appreciate. You will appreciate the chibis, chibis later on when you see how they're in the game. But um, it looks really cool. Yep. Get that off. <laughs> okay, so that's the main like centerpiece of it there. Mm -hmm. Then we have uh, the guardy or uh, one of the Kingsmakers, the main Kingsmaker, Lofty. Okay. I didn't get that far yet, so. 
to me, there it looks right like... There he is right there, stuck to it. looks like what? Uh, looks like what, Afro? Uh, Why don't you tell me what it looks like? I was like? going to say, it looks like a Pokemon uh -huh. with dreads. That's all I was going to say. Right, I don't know what you want. I've seen some other comparisons, but I'll take that one. <laughs> so there's Lofty there for you. Pretty you happy. Stuff, stuffed Lofty there. I wouldn't be that happy without a nose, personally, but that's just me, you know? This is what it is. Uh, very reminiscent of uh, Mr. Drippy from the first game. Mm -hmm. Have you played the first Nino Kuni? Yeah, right? I have. I okay. have, yeah. Cool. What else do we have in here? We have the art book. This thing is gorgeous. You want to flip through yes, it? Yes, I like people? flipping the art book. Personally, I like looking at the art book when I am bored and just looking how, I don't know how this one is, but in most art books, they have how something became from ground zero to where it is now. Um, and they're just like images of where you can just appreciate um, just the art from what you're playing in, essentially. Really nice. I mean, flipping random pages at this point, I don't know what you're seeing. I and mean, you let me know if you see something interesting in the chat. Personally, it's it the, smells so right now, yeah, you're showing like the, the backgrounds from the game, the, the kingdoms. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Wish my door looked like that. But yeah, it's pretty much it. Pretty nice. Oh my gosh, this feels like. Yeah, what do you think important. of the quality of the art book? I, like, I don't. Some art books I've got, because I'm a big fan of collecting stuff, because mm -hmm. I, I don't know, I'm a kid. <laughs> um, I like how how it is, like, so rectangular, because I can just, like, kind of put it to the side and just, like, take it out whenever. Yeah. And I, it feels really nice. Like, if this were to bend, I would I would feel pretty bad about it. So it's, it's pretty nice in that regard. <laughs> if you have a coffee table, mm -hmm. would you put it on your coffee table? I would put it on my coffee table right, and then show friends, right. look at the dragons and stuff. So That's right. pretty uh, nice. Next up is the... Uh, Peace de resistance? Yes. Is that how they say it? I, I think so. Say, I mean, is that how they say I don't, it in Wakanda? I'm, I'm not. For, yeah, we're in Wakanda, we don't talk with uh, our actions. Oh, okay. Because we don't freeze. That's so true. So we, we, just, we just do the thing. Excellent. You know? <clears throat> Next up is the uh, Nino Kuni steel bookcase. Mm -hmm. It comes with, of course, the Nino Kuni game and the music CD selection. So if you're into the music of the game, which is amazing, definitely uh, check out the collector's edition. Also comes with the premium edition back behind your head over there. Oh, that's yes. okay. Okay. The steelbook case. So if, you, if you're not into the collector's edition, the premium edition is also available. And you can still pre-order it. The game's out March 23rd. But if you head to your local GameStop, um, you can pre-order it there. You can pre-order it online. Best Buy. There's actually special deals if you... Oh! I almost forgot. Before I go any further... The, the other piece one. Of, yeah, this <laughs> took a while to build. But this, I don't know if you can focus on this. But this is the uh, paper mache diorama there. Once it's put together, it's really cool. It comes with like a, 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 a glass case for you to put in. Right there, it is a really cool piece. You can't see the details, but it's like got a 3D uh, like look to it. It's uh, Evan uh, looking over the kingdom of Ding Dong Dell. Super cool. So you get that as well. It's available at GameStop, Best Buy. You can pre-order it. If you pre-order it at GameStop, boom, you also get the That's Lofty Keychain right there. Uh, if you pre-order it at Best Buy, I like this. This is personally my is favorite. Is that a keychain as well? No, this is a fig pin. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, that's pretty super cool. detailed. <laughs> so you get one of these, you get the Evan Fig, fig Pin. And then uh, if you pre-order it from the Bandai store, I'm a fan of physical maps. Mm -hmm. You get the physical map. Bam! There you go, there. That's pretty awesome. Good quality, too. Boom. Okay, so we, we did the unboxing. We did the thing. Make sure you pre-order it. Do, do your that. thing there. I say we uh, get into some gameplay. Yes, okay. <laughs> my my favorite part because playing games, I like that part. But Dude, you know, I'm, gonna, cool. I'm gonna let you drive, yes. let you figure it out, and now, then I'm gonna. I will say it's gonna be a co-op effort because you got farther than I did. Yes. I, I got the base covered, so I can handle like the combat mm -hmm. for as far as I know, and just the basic mechanics of what you expect from a JRPG. Sure. And I guess we'll see how that goes from there. Let's do so, it. I'm ready. Uh, so we're starting out at level five. Yes, oh, I think so. Level five, get it? The developers have five me. Oh, I got yes, you. That's what we're doing. I, I totally get it. Yes. Yes. Uh, so beginning of level five, uh, we're gonna jump in. I don't want to spoil too much of the story. Okay. Uh, let's just say some things happened. Evans Bet. here in his kingdom. Bet. And uh, well, you can yeah, you can walk out just that keep way. Keep on going. Yeah, just do so your thing. I, I know the mini map uh, at the very least because I didn't see the beginning cutscene. You can see where to go off of the little arrow pointing yes. in the direction. Um, now this, I don't know if this is the actual mode itself to create the kingdom, or is this just the aftermath? Of this the is just the aftermath. Made? So you're just walking around in the kingdom. If you want to actually create your kingdom, there's two ways you do and do it. You can do it. Hit the triangle button there. Mm -hmm. Triangle. Oh, hey, big head. And there you go. Now you can manage your kingdom there. Oh, the coffers. See how the 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 coffers? Uh -huh. They'll go up. Like they they actually uh, you accumulate coffers as uh, as time goes on. Okay, so that's it's kind the currency like a, for a what you can do. Thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So if I look at my citizens, I yes. could like. I'll see everybody's in it. Yo, look at this! Yeah, and you can collect more citizens as you meet them throughout the game. Oh, that's dope. 
That's dope. And they all have names, too. I like how they're not, like, random number one and yeah. then random with the hat. I like that. They all have, like, names and little backstories. And, of course, uh, go back to them really fast. Oh, I'm stupid. Let me go back. <laughs> they all have, like, uh, skills. So see how uh, she's it's hers is, like, bad reputation. Wait, where do you see that at? See, Am at I blind? the very bottom Oh, there? Yeah, I see, yeah, yeah. I see, I see. Yo, okay. So th th does that have a big play onto what they do if you yes, assign them Yes, in the places? kingdom. So if you look right there, it, you know, it tells you where they suggest kind of where you should put them, a boost like the lumber yard uh -huh. or a boost like the uh, the shop, okay. stuff like that. Yo, that's pretty dope. I so love that. there's a lot of, like, intricacies to this kingdom mode. It's super cool. So, okay, so research, I'm assuming, is what you would, like, put some people into to develop more things? I, yes. I don't, okay. Yeah, gotcha, it's gotcha. to research more facilities. Uh, actually, pick up your coffers. Get your money. Get, get it. your money, player. <laughs> Big ballin'. Always oh, telling me stuff. Hey, Roland, how you doing? Uh, da, 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 da. I can't read that far, so uh, gonna... it says. So he's just basically saying like, uh, "That's my all money. These, yeah, you can have it. You hustled, player. Got it. Get, Let's get, get, it. get yours." <laughs> all right. So how do I use it? Do I manage your kingdom? Do, um, do spend no. All that? So now you want to go to facilities. Bet. And this is where you're able to build more facilities. Ah, okay. So unused one, two, three. Okay, outfitters, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Bet. And I just put it wherever. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, look at all this space! Yeah, where are we gonna put our first business? Big ball in, let's put it right here in the corner. Um, so you guys didn't know, but my granddad had a facility there, but it got taken down because of the economy. But, you know, I finally got big ball in back, and I'm, I'm putting it back in business. So, hashtag family. Oh my gosh. Barracks completed. <laughs> Yo, so then I could just send people to there by right, what? Right, hitting the personnel button. Yep. No and then way. you assign the oh, citizen. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, so yeah, as you can tell, this is new to me, and I'm loving it. So we're going to put Min, Minty. Uh, I don't know what her trait is besides you're there. This is let's, your job. What is it? Let's see. Uh, so her, she has the huntsman's eye. Okay. Uh, it's uh, for the hunting lodges productivity. Go back. Let's, uh, let's so find something that So that's not a proper one. Now. Okay, let's okay, okay. Here. I can't read that small uh, text for some reason. It's too small for me. You're the one with the glasses. I, I have to get new glasses. Oh, I see. It's crazy. I see. So. Okay. All right, go up. Let's see who else we got. We got Batu, bad reputation. We don't want to use him. I think the best right. person would be Kabutu. Uh, Personally, uh, he's the Explorers Guild. Go up. Oh, it's actually, right there. See the stars? Suitable. Oh, Why didn't oh, we oh, read that? Okay, part? okay. I thought that was taken. All right, cool, cool, cool. So I guess I'll take uh, Gojai and put him over there, and then I'll put uh, Bayon and put him there too. And I can just do there it too, right? You can just, just do it too. Yeah. Okay, and then just press circle on it. And that. once again, yeah, yeah. they they increase. Uh, Okay, so I guess while the they're there, cooking it up, making sure we're successful out yep. here in these streets, I'm gonna go and see what the main quest is looking like. That's yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, let's hit the main quest. Let's show people some of the cutscenes and stuff like that. Yeah, so periodically, if I want to, certain people I can talk to, like Smiley yes. number one. Oh, okay, um, okay, also, okay. certain people will sell you things. So if you talk to the girl with the blue hair up top, hey, see, big head. she's got the her, potions her, her. up. No, no, yeah, yeah, there you go, her. Okay. Hey, big head, how you Come doing? To do some shopping, eh? Humble, okay, okay, buy. Oh, what you got for me? Oh, and I can just buy. Okay, I know this is for the basic healing. I don't know how good this is now for me being in like chapter five, but I'm gonna get it because I know what it is. Do it, man. You got the you got the, the cheddar for it. You yeah. got the, the big bullion. ballin', you know. Ain't nothing to me. King around here. <laughs> man, I'm popping my in game collar. You can't see it because I'm in chibi form, but we're gonna get out of that real quick. Making my way downtown. So the one of the things I did pick up on mm -hmm. is just how fluid everything is. I'm, I'm curious from now seeing in the town mode how everything transitions when I get out of it. I think I gotta go this way. Hold on. To get out of the town? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back down, yeah, through okay. the wooden barracks or through the wooden defenses. I was more uh, keen on going that way because I just made my first uh, business it's over okay there. It's okay to so. explore, man. That's what we do in RPGs. Explore and talk to everybody multiple times. Yeah. No, no, so go back up the steps. Also in the middle, okay. Yeah, yeah, right, okay, just okay, straight okay, down okay, the middle. Okay, okay. Follow the golden arrow. I'm seeing it. And see, right. I'm, I'm, I'm peeking at it when it's going left and I just missed it when it was going this way. So there you go. we're here now, how you doing? Oh, that's so cool. Is that a barbarian? <laughs> uh, so Rikudu, man, I'm tough with these names. Rikudo, the fox is asking if it's a barbarian vi village. Uh, it kind of looks like it, but it's not. It's your own kingdom that uh, Evan has to rebuild. The story, the main story of Nino Kuni, Two is Evan uh, is overthrown. His kingdom is overthrown by the cat or by the uh, mouse like, people. He's yeah. a cat person, mm -hmm. and he has to rebuild his kingdom with the help of some friends, including Roland, uh, a president from our world, mm -hmm. kind of like what you are, except you're a king, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. same difference. In Wakanda, you yeah, know. in Wakanda. Uh, so he has got to help Evan out. Roland has to help Evan out. Then he meets Tawny, and then he gets his kingmakers, which is uh, Lofty. What happened just there? Oh, cutscene. Oh, there no we cutscene. go. No. Okay. So now we're, yeah, yeah, we're, we're making our way towards the next, uh, we're going to go visit Mr. Wright, the head of the shipbuilders. Ooh, I wonder if we're going to get a ship. I would like one. <laughs> an airship, that would be dope. 
you know, if we, if we do get airships, that, that makes us really traditional. So, I will say from what I've played so far, so keep in mind, I played up until chapter two, and mm -hmm. I kind of stopped a little bit because I want to experience a lot of it for myself, you know yep. what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I can definitely see a lot of traditional RPG elements in this. Now, I played Nino Kuni 1. I don't know how many of you guys played that as well. Can I make it through here? No? Okay. No, you might have to go around. Yeah. Uh, game universe, Gamer Universe in the chat is asking what the currency is called. It's called Gilders. That's what they're called. Sorry, you were saying Afro. Uh, 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 Nino Kuni 1. Nino yes. Kuni 1. The one thing great that... Great game. I yes, love it. it is pretty great. Um, I played it like way back when. It's like, I can't remember the last... When did it come out? Do you remember? Oh, it was way back. I, I remember I got stuck. Nine, <laughs> yeah. ten, so, maybe? Somewhere around there. It was a long time ago. And like the one thing that as a kid that I couldn't comprehend was the combat. Because there was a lot of micromanaging. And I just wanted to hit stuff, you know? Right. Um, with this game, if you've never played JRPG before. Don't fight that thing. Oh, yeah, I can tell. The, the smoke, the yeah, miasma. The purple, he, yeah, he we don't want it. that. He can keep it. Um, it, 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 it's very fluid, easy to get into. So if you never got into a JRPG before, or you, you never got into an RPG of that kind, this is your perfect one. Uh, do you mind if I just hit random guy over here real quick to kind of get into it? Uh, he's here, so I'm RPG it. it up, man. We're let's, here to explore. We're here to it. talk to people. Let's this is what it. we want to do. So it's pretty quick on your feet. I know a lot of people, when they think RPG, they think, uh, you know, uh, taking time to make a strategy to, to do something to, to like, t t uh, turn base essentially. Right. This is not. It's an action RPG, essentially. Um, you have a lot of options to a fight. To fight, you have your sword. Um, everybody has a main melee weapon of some kind. Locking on is R3. It's kind of important to do. <laughs> Don't pay attention to the first half. Um, you have the uh, range weapon, which in my case, I think it's like a crossbow that I have for this character. Um, it kind of helps to get flying enemies out the sky. And it, it varies per enemy that you get, but the major way of uh, battle is very simple. Uh, it's, it's easy to get into, essentially. So. Uh, for me personally, I found it very fun, and it didn't even feel like an RPG with how fluid it was, like with blocking um, your ranged weapons, like it all flew, flew re really well hand in hand, so big fan of it. I think I remembered why the, uh, now that I think about it, I've been mm. thinking of it because it's been bugging me. You know why that, that diorama didn't work? Why? There's additional pieces that have magnets that move the, the music along, oh. and that's why they didn't move. So there's additional pieces that we didn't use, but the diorama works. Okay, It was okay. just like, that's why it didn't work. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna mess with that when I get home because yes. I was confused about that myself. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I guess there's other mechanics I can get into, such as your team itself. Now, yeah. your team is not just for looks. You can actually mess with them. Excuse me, that's the wrong buttons. There you uh, go. By going to your party setting and just picking who you want in your team. Uh, Roland is the main character you start off with, so I mean, might as well mess with him real quick to show the differences. As you saw that uh, was Evan had a crossbow. Roland has a pistol when he fights. It doesn't really change too much, but he is strapped, so he has some respect in these streets. Now, if you look in the top, the blue bar, which is the mana, when you do shoot a little bit, it does take away from your mana. So you gotta kind of play with uh, how much you have to how much you can get to then how much you can do. He's dead. Uh, who, who shot him with the cannon? I'm trying to show off stuff, hello? I guess I'll wait with the main quest, but you get the gist of it, right? Um, I can walk around with them from this point onward, and I'm going to for a little bit because I like rolling a little bit more than Evan so far from what I played. I'm sure it's going to change because there's, there's a lot of playtime to be had with JRPGs. So. Roland's a chill ass dude. He is. Like, he he's is. Like he just like he he he's all about himself. You mm -hmm. know? Like like without any spoilers, like I, I like his character from like how he he's introduced in the story. Like mm -hmm. it's very uh, relatable to be in like his situation. It's like all right, you know, I like this. You know? Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I was about to spoil it myself. I'm like, wait, cause because. <laughs> yeah. Got to bite your tongue on yeah, that. Yeah, you know? man. <laughs> but I also like this chibi form as well too, as like a form of fast travel. Almost, it's not fast travel. There's actual fast travel in the game. Mm -hmm. But like in some JRPGs, you have a method of traveling. Ba w may it be a horse or something to kind of traverse the land pretty fast. In this form, you have like chibis to kind of exaggerate how much land you're crossing in a fast amount of time. So when you do fight these enemies here and there, it's like you're taking the time in little increments of the map to uh, have these fights. But for the main part, you're just like leaping over large parts of the land to get to where you're trying to go. So, so spoilers, you do get an airship later on and mm -hmm. you're able to traverse things much faster. Yeah. Uh, another, like, another way it reminds me of traditional JRPGs where you get an airship and then you're able to explore like the overworld. It's mm -hmm. crazy. So that's like late, late game too, I'd assume too, right? Uh, not late game. No, not not to. I mean, it, it's later on for sure, but not at the very end. Okay. Uh, people are asking if Joe Hisaishi is the composer. I want to make sure I pronounce that correct. Uh, Joe Hisaishi is the composer. He is returning from Nino Kuni One, uh, as uh, as well as uh, Mamose, the character designer from Nino Kuni One, and Akihiro Hino is uh, developing the game with Level Five. So you have that pedigree 
uh, from uh, from Studio Ghibli and from Level Five, and the people that uh, some of the people that uh, worked on the original Nino Kuni. Okay. So it's there. The pedigree is there for sure. They That's just awesome. streamlined everything from the first game. Got you. Got you. Have you got a chance to really mess with the Higgledees in combat at all? A little bit. Okay. Um, the Higgledees, if you played uh, Nino Kuni One, they are essentially what the familiars were in that game. Um, I've, I've only messed with the two that intro were introduced to me, which was like wind and like the default uh, neutral, I guess. Mm -hmm. And I can definitely see how they will uh, mess with combat later on. I don't know what type of Higgledees you have on your team now, but I guess we could find out. Yeah. Um, do you have them equipped on you, you know? Yeah, I, I think they should be equipped. Okay, so I guess we'll go play play with this as we go. So Higgledees so, yep, are those things are. in the ground. These two I, I'm, I'm used to. So essentially they do their own thing and they give you moments within battle to interact with them to do special things whenever they feel like yeah, it. Yeah, it's the circle of influence. So there yeah, you right see there. right there. They'll so then you go you. in there, press X. And I think these guys will summon a cannon for yeah, you Yeah, turn to a yeah. cannon and hit a random enemy. Now that's don't cool. Don't know which one, maybe the one I lock onto. Yes, it looks like that's the case. Pretty cool. And then the other one, I don't know where he's at. Doesn't matter because we're we're just that good already. We don't even need him yet. Um, I think he just really helps you with obstacles, if I'm not mistaken, um, uh, with platforming and whatnot. But uh, I hate to interrupt you, Afro, but Curly Fried Gamer wants to know or wants to tell you that he loves you. He I, I love she. you, Curly okay. Fried Gamer. He or she. I like Curly Fries, so there you, you name yourself yeah. that was just the correct and option. And we love games. Yes. So <laughs> you're loving the right person. Right. We can have a relationship here. Surprise attack. Okay. So you can still get surprise attack in this game. Do you know if that increases their damage on you? It looks like they didn't actually attack you. You know, I don't think so. Yeah, it, it's a, it's just a, maybe I guess maybe enemies in the late game will will cause damage to you. Okay. But I did for now from what I've seen, it just kind of they just appear behind you and they kind of kind of have an ish, initiative. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got you. Yeah. Now there's a deeper element to the combat as well, but I'm trying to like, like you know, give it a little bit here and there. I'm trying to make my way to the Ease people into main it. quest. Yeah, because JRPG is the one thing that people kind of stay away from it uh, for is because how overwhelming it is. The combat is actually pretty simplistic, so you would. Oh, let me stay away from that guy real quick. What level are we? Uh, the Mana like, is 24. You can. I think you can take him I, if you if you uh, if you uh, heal. I would heal before I go I into battle. Mind. Okay, you're right. My, my, my homie is leaking. Yeah, so Roland healing, is leaking bad. Healing's pretty traditional. Just go in your inventory, get the grass, and you put it on their wounds. The the magical grass, and everybody's good from that. So now I guess I can get a little bit more depth with what I could do within combat. Now I didn't really touch on it, but you have a lot of weapons equipped on you. Um, normally of the same kind. Um, on my left, you see all the swords and the percentages that are there. I can't really get into the percentages right now because none of them are at 100, but that is called a uh, zinc something. What was it again? Zinc skill or zinc? Essentially what it is, um, when it's at 100%, your damage is more, it, it does more damage essentially, and you can kind of mess around with, I'm dead. Okay. Roland got taken out. Yo, do you have an angel's tier? I don't even know. Uh, hit, even the, use uh, hit the options or the, the uh, pad. Uh -huh. Oh, I can pop. Oh, okay, okay, that's pretty cool. You do not have an angels here. You are. It's all right. It's all right. We, we, we got I, this. I wonder if you can this. escape. Maybe you can escape. Also, escaping, which would be just running until it goes yes, yeah, all see the way the, to full energy. Let's go. Woo! That okay, was a close one. I want to take him on again, we, but I was so focused on talking. Yeah. Is he gone? He's gone. He's gone. Right, Let's get well, out of there. Uh, get rolling, healed up. Yeah, let me heal him up real quick. So dodge roll, what I didn't do is your best friend because it gets you out of those situations to where your teammates just collapse and, and die essentially. Let's not do that again. Yeah, no, <laughs> that's not the plot. All right, I think Evan's cool. We don't need to waste all of her stuff, so. Uh, people were asking in the chat if you can switch characters. Yeah, you can switch characters yeah. on the fly and you can switch weapons on the fly. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of switching characters, I don't know anything about her because um, I only mess with Evan and Roland. So let me go back to Evan. She's pretty cool. She uses a spear and a bow and arrow. Tani, she is a uh, she's the daughter of a sky pirate and adopted daughter of the leader of the sky pirates. She's very tomboyish, um, but she's true to her friends. Like if you're her friend, she's she's all you know. She's got your back. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Now the thing I just grabbed right there um, is for fast travel. So. When you, when you explore, essentially, there's certain parts that have like a little glowing part on the map mm -hmm. that if you act, uh, you, you interact with, you have the option to go on your menu and then fast travel to that location later on. So those are definitely important. Make sure you pick those up when you see them. Is it uh, revenge? It's revenge time. Okay, I think I. I think people in the level. chat are asking why uh, enemies aren't are, uh, uh, aggroing you when they see you. Actually, they are. You, you just, just aggroed there. Me, yeah. yeah, it's just you were kind of running fast, so people like the enemy wasn't noticing you. That's why. Okay. But yeah, the enemies do aggro you. They come at you. I'm gonna try to focus a little bit because I think he is definitely a lot higher level than me. So I gotta really focus. Make sure that doesn't happen to me. Ooh, wow. I got the wall. The wall. No. 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 Okay. So dodge rolling is really important, but making sure you're not trapping against the wall is also really important. Now my attacks don't really do anything, so this is definitely not the. 
Afro way, yeah. This we'll is definitely not the there. enemy to flex on real this, quick. What are you doing, Afro? <laughs> you are just getting worked. I tapped him twice. He's just like, what is that? So you do have to uh, be careful because, as you see, there are high-level enemies that you can run into or they run into you that, you know, you might think you can take on, but you're not ready for that yet. And they're so. all designated by a different color, so you'll see mm -hmm. which one's which. Uh, and this is where we are supposed to go. Skim44 is asking how many playable characters. So there's the three main playable characters, but there's also going to be guest characters. I don't want to go into two, uh, into how many there are total, but I can tell you that there's more than just the three play playable. You already saw Batu, who's also in your party. You just haven't switched to him yet. Yeah. I messed with them, actually. So now, when we're at our main location, in certain other locations, we go into the non chibi state, the. Uh, yeah, this what is what you see most of the time this? when yeah. uh, Evan is exploring. I think there was a thing back there. Yep. So Save make sure you always get these. Uh, this is, you know, for fast traveling. The Pick trap door, up. yeah. Mm -hmm. Or trip door. Dang it. <laughs> I always get that wrong. You got monies on the ground every now and again. You can talk to people if you want hey. to. Um, some people that don't really have anything over their head have nothing really to say that's not really important to the story. But there's always some good lore Gosh. that you can get, like uh, why uh, Tabitha and her husband are getting along. <laughs> oh, why Charlie and uh, Rebecca are just not doing too good right now, Niles. But um, yeah, this is the main quest. It's like, yo, I got a kingdom to rebuild. I can't be, I can't be dealing with your problems. Yeah, you know? right. <laughs> you gotta deal with it, Charlie. Um, while we have a break, I am going to. Uh, we're gonna give away some codes for the game, and then we're also gonna give away a collector's edition. So oh, stay okay. tuned for that. We have that just for you here. Yo, I'm uh, generous today on the Oprah. <laughs> so what I'll do is I'll do I'll give away a code right now for Nino Kuni for well I'll let you guys decide it can be PS4 or Steam like when I contact you just let me know if you want a PS4 or Steam code. So giveaway for the full game of Nino Kuni uh, when it comes out obviously I'm not going to give it to you right now uh, just because I don't have it but I will find someone uh, actually lo and behold the person that was asking the question Skim44 congratulations you yes. won I'm going to message you hey congratulations yes. See, asking questions does make you a little bit lucky. Uh, so, yeah, you know. they, I guess that's what happened. <laughs> Keep on asking. Afro, what are you doing now? Well, I'm, I'm just talking the dialogue. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I cannot read that. Like, my eyes, I, I, oh, I definitely need new bad. glasses. Okay. Let's see what he's saying. I'm just giving it time for everybody else to read. So. And he's talking, uh, he's got this accent that he's got going. Yeah. Bit they smashed them boats like they won't now. Watch yourself, <laughs> eh? That's all I've got. Yeah. <laughs> I will say what's really cool about it, um, for the most part, from, from the traditional aspect, a lot of it is what you, you, you read yourself, but how it transitions into the cutscenes is very fluid, and if you played a JRPG whip maybe back in the day, it, you, you get a nostalgic sort of feel from it. That's what I felt personally. Um, a, lot of, a lot of games came to mind with, with playing this, which is really cool. And just for playing Nino Kuni 1 itself, you can definitely feel the improvement on just the base game. So a lot of passion in this. Yeah, the art style, the music, it just all comes together. Mm -hmm. And I think the, the main word I've been using, it's traditional. It's a traditional JRPG. Like, this is what I used to play when I, when I you know, on a Saturday when mm -hmm. I was in high school. I'd come home, flip on my PS2. It's just got that feeling. Yeah. Like, old school RPG feel. I love it. I agree with that. Now, let me see if I can use our fast travel mechanic with where we got to go next. Where do we have to go next? We got to go over here. So, I, okay, this is all new. This is all new, so I can just have to walk there. Okay. Watch out, dude. I'm, I'm are you going to be able jump, to get... We're going to jump. No, no wait, no, no, no. <laughs> Afro, no. Oh, wait, we can now see what happens when a high-level enemy surprise attacks. Okay, now we're still Afro, good. Afro, man, you, you had... We're good, you we're good. I'm a half football player. Look at me, look at me. Yeah, 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 and we're, we're fine. We're fine. I definitely like how the escape is. Uh, you, you have a lot of time to the definitely get away from a, a enemy that bamboozles you at that high level. How do I get down here? I think you can just jump, yeah? Yeah, uh, so people in the chat are asking, how are we doing the giveaway? We're just randomly rolling people. I have an app here that I'm, or I have a, uh, like a plugin that I'm using just to ro randomly roll for people. And I'll just be doing that throughout the enemies. chat. So just uh, hop in there, say hi, and uh, chill, I'll uh, roll. Chill. I think you could take this guy, Afro. Is he 28? Is he 28? I think he's 28. You better run then. That's a lot of 28s. You guys got it. I'm in the wrong side of the grass. <laughs> yeah, we had to get out of there. <laughs> Yeah, in this case, using Evan def definitely goes against me since I don't have too many healing items. So you definitely have to use your RPG elements with just common sense to definitely have someone in the lead who just makes a lot more sense. So let me use Batu and see just how that plays out for me because he is the guest character. It's true. Um, so do they stay on your team or do they definitely like they go away every now and again? Uh, they go uh, they go away every now and again. Okay. So sometimes you have many teams, sometimes you won't. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit brave. I feel like Batu is the one. Dude, 27. And you're level 12. Are we 12? 
Yeah. I thought that was a high 21. We, we out. <laughs> what are you doing, Ever? Where are these high level enemies coming from? They're gonna from? come to me anyway, no matter which way it goes. Cause my jump skills are just not that not that good. So let me see if I can bob and weave the rest of them. I'll try. Wish me luck. Uh, Shadow Crow in the chat is asking how deep is the kingdom building? It is deep. We showed it earlier, man. There you can assign people to the different uh, to the different uh, buildings you put together. Want to talk um, about this? You upgrade buildings. <laughs> Jeez, man, why, why are you in this area? Where are I, you I have, going? I have to go there. I have to go to the main okay. quest. All right. I just need some Nikes while I'm going to the main quest because <laughs> these enemies are pretty fast. But I do like how they make escaping pretty fluid, so that way when you do get bamboozled by those enemies, it's not like the end of the world for you. And I couldn't swim for five. Okay, okay, we got this, we got this. All right, watch me juke him. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Afro. Maybe I should steer. I mean, you could try, but no, I'm pretty sure no, you're going to run into them as well. Unless you got some hidden Adidas uh, DLC you didn't tell me about. <laughs> but nah, we got it, we got it, we got it. <clears throat> I cool, need though. all like high level? Yeah, yeah man. they're all high These level. Are all, why are we so low? And, and there was no uh, teleporting going to this place, so. And they're running fast. Yeah, so we got to endure. I mean, I'll try to hit them one time and see how it goes. Maybe, maybe uh, my guy is the one. Let me see if I can get one yeah, tap. Let's see. Okay, you know, maybe, maybe I'm not. I mean, Two you're doing taps. some damage. <laughs> Yeah. I think I can maybe yeah. do it. Oh, no, no, yeah, yeah. get that sword away going. You're not leaking. Well, now I can talk about the skills. So skills are on to R2. Everybody has their own yeah, uh, original skills. skills. That would uh, be good. Essentially, it uses a lot more of your mana. Oh, well, we're not going to see that one. <laughs> but it's okay, because we have more teammates that are all dead. Well. <laughs> Continue from the last save, Afro. <laughs> oh, man. Well, it looked good when I got the first hit, but I didn't think everybody got hit at the same time. That's actually pretty interesting. Uh, but it's all right. We're, we're, we're just at the, the beginning part of going Are you sure you're going, going the right way? Let's yeah, no, check the map real quick. Okay, so where, we got to go. We gotta oh, yeah, you got to traverse that. I think you can make it. Let's try it. So I guess this is where some of the grinding might come in because um, a lot of JRPGs, not a lot, but grinding is part of the the RPG culture and I at, at this point it would definitely benefit a little bit we are a little bit under leveled so I'm gonna try my best to juke my way through there and uh, see what happens but yeah I just want to get to the cool story yeah 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 but I think we got it I know the bigger enemies is definitely easier to outrun compared to the smaller, smaller ones, ones that have their own built-in uh, Hussein Bolt mechanics hey chill you don't want uh, can, I, can I sneak past them Oh, nope, not him. <laughs> oh, you were so close. Is it me or do they just run faster? They, they, they run pretty fast. Uh -huh. The bigger ones you can definitely outrun, but the smaller ones is a little bit harder, so. Oh, ow, ow, you didn't have to do that. <laughs> but it's pretty cool, though. With all the options of what you can do, is, uh, you, you have a lot of uh, options of how you want to spend your time grinding if you so happen to want to do so. You can just, just grind, play, like, beat enemies casually while building uh, your kingdom. There's other uh, game modes like scrimmage mode that I don't think we can get it. We might be able to get into that. I think we can from our kingdom, yeah. <laughs> oh. Afro, you are not getting away. Why? They, they are aggressive. It's all right. It's all right. We got it. We got it. Leave this to me. I think you can take them if you use your skills. You, you think so? Not Maybe not with Evan? <laughs> I can't see. Okay, there we go, there we go. All right, well, let's see. We got this skill. Yeah, okay. look at that. You're doing damage, man. I just There's can't get hit. That's my problem. <laughs> well, I guess this is the like first time to use my range attacks. Yes. That's with those. Until they want to run away from me. Let, let, oh, she doesn't have no mana, so she can't even do any range attacks. I got to play smart. Dodge roll. See, the thing about how they attack, um, enemies, like, when you get hit for the most part, you don't stagger. Mm -hmm. So you have to definitely be well aware of, Use like, your, where you're oh, placed. there we go. So. I'll try to fight the remainder. Um, just know it's life or death for me. So let me see if I can heal up Evan a little bit. I think I have some stuff in my inventory. Boom. Evan, take that. All right, cool. Uh, for the sake of playing it smart, we're going to put Evan in the, at the lead. Cause he has the most health right now uh, as well as Batu but you know the, the the king has to rule his people so gotta lead properly you see if I can bob and weave Ugh. all right while we'll you're running through we'll that fight. I am uh, I'm gonna roll another winner okay let's get it so Good this luck. is also for another code um, just let me know you know when I uh, when I email you just let me know whether you want uh, ps4 or PC 
cool. Gone? Okay. So when you do kill enemies, your mana does come up, and you just have to keep that in mind with balancing when you can attack. Uh, let me run away. I think he's gonna explode. What is that? Oh yeah, he is. Okay, okay, my team is gone. So this is where I run away, because <laughs> if I die now that they're all dead, that's that's a life. So now we actually have a working uh, diorama. You keep oh, doing that. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, so they actually move around here. Now you can see it that it does work. We just have. Yo. There you go. Do those two characters are the magnets, or? Yeah, yeah. So those are the characters on the magnets, and they move around the the guardian there. That's pretty Boom. dope. Boom! So there you go. They're moving. Very cool. Let's get back to it. Let's get to this Let's area, man. Let's I believe it. in you, Afro. Um, since my teammates are literally dying, uh, I guess this is the best time where I can switch out girl for Batu. Yes. And then hopefully, we could just traverse past this big guy to that little cave in the back to get where we gotta go. Wish is that what we have to get to? That's what we have to get to. Oh, we got this. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. If there's go. a boss there, go. Uh, okay, small just space run. and a surprise attack. Yeah, we're gonna escape this one just because I I don't know what surprise attack does. I'm gonna guesstimate that it might increase their damage. Um, so just to make sure that I don't get damaged. I think we're almost on. there. All right. So while you're doing that, I'm gonna roll again. So let's see. This is for a code. Uh, Hidane 305. You won. So congratulations, Hidane 305. Good stuff. Congratulations, man. All right, there we are, finally. Now, if that's what was on the outside, I am a little bit afraid of what's on the inside. This is true. <laughs> so let's see. So this I is, would save is your game. perfect, perfect. So when you go to this, it not only does it save your game, it heals, uh, it heals you. you so. Very traditional, old yeah. school RPG. Yeah, so when you see these, you, you, you want to you wanna rejoice. <laughs> so definitely save for the culture, so that way if we do get molly -whopped, we can molly our way back. Oh, get, you overwrote my save. It's for, is it for the best? Yeah, it's for the best. I'm, I'm, it's I'm for sorry. the best. It, it's like we fused them. So it's like, you know, now we're the, the light skin save file, you know, and, and it's working better. So <laughs> so now that we have our full team to work with here, I can mess with a little bit more. Um, I think this we're is perfect back. how it is. Batu, uh, Roland. Yeah, this is fun. This and is fun. Uh, Batu is Tani's adopted dad. Oh, okay. Ooh, and we get a cool cutscene. Yes. Okay, I'll just keep it for a little bit. This cave looks really cool. Oh my gosh. Too much brine, not enough shrine. I, it's true. I, I'm afraid of what happens when we touch that, but all right. I guess because that is her dad. Let, 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 let's, let's get let's get the proper squad. Get, get the family on here real quick. See, she has her dad, Afro. <laughs> Must be nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. I'm a king of my own, my own city. All right, we touch it. And ah. cutscene. Uh, Burning Solaris is asking if the appearance of the characters can be changed. Yeah, you can actually change costumes. Uh, I've, I, we actually put out a, uh, a picture of uh, Evan uh, using uh, Oliver's costume from the first game. It was like a throwback. That's so you can pretty dope. Costumes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Do you, now I know when you play the game, you get items uh, periodically, like through stuff you'll collect through treasure chests and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Same way with clothes or no, special events for clothes? Uh, special events for clothes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you do get like weapons and items and stuff like that you find just throughout gameplay. Got you. Is this played on the PS4 Pro? Yes, actually, that is an awesome question. Uh, Peco Fever. Uh, it's we're playing on the PS4 Pro. It's 60 FPS on the PS4 Pro with uh, 4K support HDR as well. That's dope. Yeah, there's a boss coming. I smell it. I smell it. Oh, it is a boss fight. Ooh. Well, I feel like we might be really under level, but I think we can do it. In this scenario, where it's just one on. Uh, the Jelly the Queen. Oh, I wish we luck. Oh, she looks so clean. Okay, okay, okay. I think you got this. Well, uh, what level is she at? She's level 30. 30. Uh, it's not bad. We keep our range. We use we use our... our she abilities. has her range, too. That, that's the problem. This is so accurate. Now, I, now we're in a proper fight. I can show off a little bit more. So when you hold down your range button, which is R2, you can charge up your attack if I stop moving. Uh, and I do a, a bigger attack. Oh, no, he does that, too. So you She's not doing it. much damage, though. That's good. She's not. She's not like okay. the enemies on the outside. Because I can block. Uh, holding L, uh, L1 lets you block. Um, you don't... Uh, you still take damage, but it mitigates a lot of the damage. You take like 10, 3% compared to like 60 to 40 you'll take otherwise. But um, with that, I can get to the skills properly because I couldn't before. So if you hold R2, you have a set amount of moves you can do that based off, uh, they use a lot of your mana. So as you see at the top, if I do this one, my mana just depletes. Oh, that's one that's up close. Yeah, that's, so you can do that again. <laughs> that's a close again. range one. It, it didn't waste any mana, I don't think, just one bar. 
This one, I think, is like a larger slash that reaches from a distance. I remember that one. Uh, the square one was new for me. And you You're got the fire blast. You're actually getting it done, Afro. Yeah, you are. This is good. The fire like blast. Oh, and you got another one, which is the ice. Oh my gosh. Use the Higgledies. Oh, he's gone now. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of managing when, regard, when it comes to doing damage. You have a lot of options, which is really cool. Um, and after I show this last thing off, I'm going to stop trying to show off and start trying to win. Get to the over there. I never see what he's yeah, done yet, so let's yeah, see what he does. They'll heal you. Oh, okay. So I just stay in while he heals? Yes. yes. Oh, that's there dope. There you go. That's dope. Can, can you heal what I just lost right there, too? Oh, okay, friend. Just kidding. Okay. Um, if I can do one more skill to kind of show what this does for you, I can then focus on winning. Starting, starting, hold on, back up, back up. Higgle, are you still there? Hey, what's good? Get the cannon, please, for me. Uh, thanks. Thank you. Can you get hit? No? All right, cannon. Good stuff. Good stuff. Can you shoot it now? Good stuff. Okay, so now we're going to go in. We did like a little fraction to his health, and I'm dead. But it's fine, because now I can start again properly with 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 the, the, the queen girl, all right? Connie, yep. Okay. So I got to be get definitely careful, because when I go in, I have to get a little bit of hits, and I got to so back what you out. So what you were talking about earlier is the zing meter? Mm -hmm. That's yeah. the name of it, yeah. So with the Zing Meter, when it gets to 100% and you do an ability um, from your skills, uh, it powers that up and then it also resets it back to zero. And if you decide to fight when your Zing Meter on a weapon is 100%, your damage is boosted by a little bit, but it's still a boost. That definitely matters in the grand scheme of things. Um, take a help. Oh, even my other guy's dead. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What if I can clutch it? Hold on, hold on. What if I can clutch the whole thing? Is she, is she healed? Oh, we'll never know. <laughs> I think that was wind, but what would you say that was? I, I would say it was wind. Try again. Oh, we can try again right yeah, off the bat. Yeah, we can go, yeah. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, my other suggestion would be since we can fast travel through. No, we don't have the trip door here, do we? We do have a trip door we can go to, but not here specifically. But not from here, right? Yeah. Okay. So I guess we'll try two more times, one more time, and then we'll do other things. Sure. See how that goes? Yeah, yeah. Because we are definitely under level, so if I do what beat this... What we can this, do is, uh, I think there's a save file down below like that starts a chapter 3. We can go back to a previous chapter. Okay. That'll make things easier so we can show off other cool stuff. Got you, got you, got you. All right. Definitely works. All the right. power of Wakanda is not with you, Afro. Hey, it's not me. See, within a JRPG, levels are everything. Um, you, you can do a lot of cool things, but if, if somebody is level 30, they can do one thing that makes all the cool things you've done worth nothing. So you definitely have to keep in mind what you're doing for your character, how you build them, how you use them. It's a lot of things you got to keep in mind with, but at the same exact time, if you kind of do a lot of side quests here and there, it all kind of flows together naturally. So let me see if I can go over to the, the green higgledy for a little heal. We're Help running oh, a, okay. a little bit short on time, so I'm going to I'm gonna roll again for another giveaway here. This is uh, for the Nino Kuni 2 full game, whether you want the PC or PlayStation 4, you just let me know when I email you. Uh, so I'll roll again for the giveaway. Good luck, everyone. Majin Mine, congratulations, you oh, won. Hey, I know what that is. You really? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's true. We did have you on, and people were excited to see you. So, <laughs> the fans. Ugh. Okay, I didn't get hit. That was that was really lucky for me. None of my teammates are getting hit, so that's really cool. So someone's healing me, so I'll only assume the girl has healing abilities that she can do? Because I didn't go to the green hit. Ugh. That actually yes, comes in play. She, she does have healing abilities. Where did he go? Okay, okay. Okay, we're, 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 doing, we're doing decent. I have, I have some shooting things I can do. You can also use that for dodging a little bit, but you gotta also keep in mind that when you do that, you use your mana. And if you wanna save up your mana for other attacks, you don't wanna be doing that at certain opportunities to dodge. Okay, stay okay, in that circle. There. As long as I can stay here and not get hit. Okay, oh. this ruins everything. We're, we're doing pretty decent though. At least my teammate is. My team, my, my team is, because if I do die, which Evan is holding on, by by the grace of of King Evan, hold on, hold on. By the grace of. Uh, uh. Now this is an RPG, so your dodge roll isn't going to be as uh, on point as let's say one in like another game, like Dark Souls or something like that. You do have to like definitely kind of memorize some of what like what, what your position is for the most part. Mm -hmm. It's very tactical, yeah. for sure. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Afro, I gotta hand it to you that you're doing really well. Yeah, see, I shot off everything I want to, so now I can just play. Okay, green, green. Hey, hey, where'd you go? Oh, so Higgledy gets hit and messes up the whole formation. That's cool. Uh, you're, you're back, you're back. I knew I could trust you. Bring it back. Uh, no. I said bring it back, please, please. All right, thank you. Best nice. Hot in mind. Uh, I, I sent you a message. Uh, I, it's just a quick message, but I'll message you in full of the details on how you get the code and stuff like that. So don't worry about it. I have your name. I have your info. So you're good. So I just seen that you cannot block certain attacks from enemies such as Excalibur, which makes sense. Yeah, there's some unblockables. Okay. I'm running out of mana to shoot these. 
So uh, I gotta go in there and hit. Tendo B54 is asking, are the monsters capturable? So the monsters aren't capturable. They're not familiars. Uh, the Higgledies actually uh, take the place of the familiars. Um, what you do is you find these Higgledy heroes throughout the game oh, no. by uh, talking to these Higgledy stones. My team. You <laughs> offer the stones an item, and in exchange, they team. give you a Higgledy. It's depending on the item. It's kind of like a riddle that the stone will give you, saying, oh, I want something... Just to use a Dark Souls example, shiny and smooth, so you, you get them like a pebble, and they'll give you a Higgledy. So they'll, they'll ask you to look for things to get unlock these Higgledy heroes, and that's how you unlock them. You can also uh, cook Higgledies in the cauldron uh, over at uh, uh, NPC player's house. Can I heal my friends? <laughs> can I switch out? Hold on, let me, let me check. You can switch characters. How do you switch out someone? I don't think I can switch out. Oh, no, 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 right now, no, okay, you cannot. Okay. You are So you I are really set, am, am living by the grace of the Green Higgledy. So here, here's the plot, here's the plot. So if I can take Big Mama over here and let Green Higgledy form over there. No, what, this is new tech, what are you doing? Green Higgledy, no! Oh, you're here. Best friend, thank you. Stay in the circle real quick. I can solo him, I got this, I got this. It's a little bit harder because I don't have residual damage going on anymore because my Hashtag team is dead. Team Afro in the chat? I think I can make it happen. Now, Dude, you are holding, wow, this is amazing. I, I have to get some hits off so that I can build my mana up. But building, getting close to him is just, he, he can't be trusted. And so once you find that rhythm, man, this is all you. All right, let me see if I can get white kid with Oh, you want to you go away when I'm here. That's that's perfect. Oh, okay. What's that thing over there? What's, what's that Yes, ball? hashtag Team Afrin. Lend us your spirit. Uh, uh, okay, he's going to explode. Uh, Green Higgledies, if you can come back, can you please move back here? All right, or just get hit. I mean, that's your choice. <laughs> Oh, why you are doing too? this? This is amazing. I'm trying. This I'm is trying. Great. I love it. Okay, okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. Back up. Back up. I think. If you, uh, I think if you beat this, this would be a great note to go out on. It would. But there's just no way. I'm not doing enough damage by myself. I mean, maybe, so. maybe I don't if I know. Maybe this. I can keep this rhythm. Yeah, that, that, that didn't do anything. Really? Okay. Oh, oh! Vibe and weave! Oh my go. goodness! Let's go. Okay, wait, starting now. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. We got some health. We got some to work with. I have some mana too. We have options. No, don't do it. Stop. Stop it. You're stupid. Okay, I'm stupid. Wow. Can you please back up for five seconds? What is personal space for 500? All right, he's upset. I didn't mean it. It was just a joke. You don't gotta be childish. Stop it. All right, move over to the side. Let me go in a little bit. What did you throw at me? Hey, that's rude. This might be it for me. Oh, I got some heals. Okay, I thought no, the next hit, the next safe. hit, I definitely would have been done. I think I can do it. I think you got this. Okay, this is where I back up. Oh, now, yes. it also pays off to have mana for long range skills that do a lot of uh, damage from a distance. So I can just do this. And it definitely helps me out. Now You are almost fully healed. Close. If my other Higgledies can get it together and stop getting hit by lasers. Then we got something going on. I am loving this. Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. Do this. Is the giveaway over? No, we still have to give away the collector's edition, so stay in the chat, hang in there, hang out with us. Do this, hit some of this. He might hit me. Ooh. Yeah, you tried, you tried it, you tried it. This is getting good. We're almost there. We you actually can do this, this. we can actually wow, can solo I am, it. I am, I am impressed by your skills. See, the King of Walk, Wakanda coming, coming through. Okay, what if I die right now? People are, uh, are, are witnessing uh, history here. <laughs> I don't know about history, if history is the right word. They're definitely witnessing we, we something call Nino, epic. Nino Kuni to uh, early gameplay history. Oh, okay, that hurt. You got this. I need I need one solid hit. He also needs one solid hit. I don't know, you got healed. I think he's gonna explode This soon. is it, this is it. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. No, 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 no. Uh, I have no options. Okay, he's he's from a distance, so. Hang hmm. back. Where's your Higgledies? They're back there. Hold that. Higgledy! Higgledy! Help me! This. Help me, Higgledy! Please, quick! Yes! Oh. Stay! Stay in the circle! <laughs> Hold this. Uh, from this distance, from this distance, honestly, honestly, if you just stay right there for 500, hold this. I can charge it up. Final hit. Oh! <laughs> Clutch! That was, that that. was tough. So that it, was it goes good. to show, even when you're under leveled, if you can just kind of get the rhythm down, you could still be a boss. Yo, so, that was all skill. Yeah. Because we were under leveled for that fight. <laughs> 100%. But hey, we progressed. We got through, and that's that's pretty cool. That was epic. <clears throat> Let's see what happens next. While this is going, I'm actually going to pick the winner. Uh, 
for the collector's edition of the game. So this is for the collector's edition. I'm gonna roll. Here we go. Mr. Taco, what a winner. <laughs> Mr. Taco. Taco won. So congratulations, Mr. Taco. You win a collector's edition of the game. I will grab it and I will show it to the camera because that's what we want to do. Got some cool stuff you can put in that taco now. Boom, you get one of these right here. Look oh, at all the cool awesome. stuff you got. There you go. Once again, the collector's edition is still available for pre-order. So if you didn't win, GameStop has it, Best Buy has it, uh, the Bandai Namco store. Just search Bandai Namco store online. They have it. Every, uh, for any pre-order that you, if you pre-order any collector's edition, uh, the pre-order items are different. The, uh, the Bandai Namco store has the map, the physical map. Uh, the I don't uh, where did I put it? The the fig pin, the Bandai Namco fig pin. Where did I put my fig pins? They're I gone. I think it was somewhere over here. They're lost. He, he got them. Uh, left. Best Buy has the fig pins, and then oh, here we go, right here, boom. <laughs> so Best Buy has the fig pin there, which is also super cool. And then GameStop has the lofty keychain. So a lot of different pre-order bonuses if you want to check it out. But Mr. Taco, congratulations. What are we doing now? What are we doing now? Are well, you gonna keep going? We have other options. I mean, we can continue doing the story, or we can show off some other stuff. I think we should show off some other stuff Do personally. It. So let me get out here so I can fast travel a little bit more fluidly because I don't think we can fast travel in the cave. So let me get out, making my way outside. That was pretty cool. Yeah, I definitely that do think intense. it's best to stay away from the main quest right now because I feel oh, like yeah. I'm not gonna did get you, lucky did twice. Did you gain enough levels though from that boss fight? Did that's you a, gain that's any a good question. Let's Hold see. on. So Let's we, we were at. 12 beforehand, right? I don't think we leveled up though. Yeah, we're still 12. Uh, Evan's level 20, yo. Also, Evan. Oh, I'm looking, I'm looking at Batu. Okay, so yeah. Evan Evan himself could have taken a lot of enemies. I wasn't focusing on How's him. How's Roland doing? Roland is, I would assume, not too far from Evan. So having a uh, homie on my team was actually just a disservice to me. Yeah, for, for my, uh, from where I'm sitting, it's kind of hard for me to see the levels. Yeah. So, I mean, even with that, though, we, we still did a pretty good job. Yes, sir. And so did Batu as I well, I think you too. can actually take these enemies on now. Like if Maybe. We yeah, back, no, no, let's no, let's no, try let me one. try one. Let me yeah. try one real quick. Because it's like, well, like, like this is like 26, 24. 24? Well, let's see. Let's see. There's a lot of damage, but so do But I. it's one. In Dude, you fought that jelly queen. Come <laughs> on, man. You are a uh, legend. Tell him again. All right. Oh, that was pretty cool. Okay, so. Let's see if I can avoid. Now, what I didn't get into, unfortunately, was the other weapons. So if you click L2, you can switch the weapons. And essentially, when you have one at 100, you can just use another one, another skill, like this one, essentially. Waste that um, zinc on it, and it goes back to zero. You do the same to get like the maximum damage that you could possibly get. I wasted that one. But it's fine, because I think that was all of them. Oh, you got that homie over there. Hit him with the fireball, and he's gone. So, essentially, that's the gist of it. Um, how it flows together, it's really fun. Um, it just feels really cool and at times it doesn't really feel like a JRPG with just how much skill as you've seen can just go into it So definitely like that. Um, One other thing we can check out actually if you hit the the pad there. The pad itself? Okay. Yeah The touch pad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's the tactics tweaker there I don't know if you've got a chance to mess with that. No, I all. didn't these so two that... were black blocked off. Oh, so okay. See. Yeah, yeah So you were still early on so here. Oh, hello <laughs> uh, So if you're not happy with uh, with uh, how you've used your battle points, your BP thus far, you can always spend a few uh, King Guilders to reset them and see if there's another setup. So basically, you're able to tweak your tactics um, oh, for, okay. for your battles. This might have helped with the Jelly Queen, actually. It, it probably would have, but uh, you have, have enough any... Guilders, you could have done it, actually. So it goes off of Guilders or battle points, because we have two on the top. Both. Uh, you haven't increased the level, so spend the battle. So let's spin it, see what it uses. Okay, so it's BP. So the, the Guilders just shows me how much it has. So yeah. I feel like the Guilders is for something else. So literally, I, I, I get it. That's pretty cool, I guess. Mainly for typing and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Got you. All right. Now, this is a whole technical aspect in, in its own. So, I guess that's something that I guess you should look in on your own. Yeah, we can just look at it here. Yeah. Um, I mean. Hit the triangle button. Just keep on spinning it on speed. I don't know. Spin it on tags. Okay, see, the thing, thing is, I can't read that. It's too, it's too, oh, it's too far yeah, away. Yeah, okay. that's, that's the whole thing for me. So. Yeah, yeah, we can you can just back out of this and we yeah, can yeah, just yeah, keep yeah. going. Okay, and just, just for funsies, what is this? More detailed. Okay, okay, got you. So, um, I guess, yeah, let's, let's go back to the kingdom and see how that goes. Uh, this other game mode, what was it, the scrimmage, right? Skirmish, yeah. Okay, let me see if I can. What is it? I, I think we can actually that. do that through the kingdom mode. We can try that. Let's see. Can we? Yeah, let's, uh, let's give it a try. Where so uh, hit triangle to go back to the kingdom. Oh, from from the map. Okay. Yeah, from the map. Got you. Yes. That's cool. So evermore is your kingdom. Got you. 
That's pretty cool. The kingdom aspect, one of those things that, that threw me off guard. Like, like I didn't know they had like something this cool within the game like that. And this it, is just it definitely from the throne, breaks right? up the pace of the game, right? Yeah. Like in a good way. Mm -hmm. So from sit on your throne. Actual king stuff. Okay, there look you at go. you, Evan. I see you. All right. So have you done it yet on here? It was gonna be a tutorial for us, or no? No, I've done it before. It? So that's okay. what we were doing here earlier. But if you want to do the skirmish, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, back out of this. Okay. Uh, return to throne room. Okay. Oh, Actually, is it return to throne? That works. Well, it's all right. Let's all right. see. Uh, hit triangle one more time. Uh huh. Okay. Back out of this, it and could then be go in the back kingdom. to the throne room. Yeah. Okay. And it would be. So yeah, uh, sit back on the throne one more time. Okay. There was an option to muster forces. What was it? Let me see. Do, do, do. Here. Going back. That's so cool. How you that get to yeah. yeah, just going like on on the throne itself. There we go. This is what I was looking for. Do you do it through here? Actually, no. This is this is for the skirmish. So yeah, we can't do the skirmish from here. I think it's it's like certain areas that we can do it. Okay. We, just so we can check out the kingdom story. mode some more, or we can. Uh, Go and see if Mr. Wright will build you the boat now. Yeah, let's, let's see it. I'm curious. Do it. So you want, we want to head back, I guess, to the city. I back wonder if we, we can use the trip door. Yeah, no, I'm pretty to sure we fast can. travel out. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Well, yeah. Uh, I, I definitely seen uh, some progression uh, through the trailers and stuff like that of like what your cities can look like. Yeah, they're so, amazing. Like Once you build them up, they look crazy. Yeah. It's a lot of time you have to put into that. So just... Like with JRPGs, there's a lot of hours, essentially, you can put into many different things. So mm -hmm. it's one of those things that w whatever you decide to spend your time on, it, it definitely is rewarding in the day. You're one of those players that, like, has to collect everything, right? Because I saw you go for I, that pebble. Like, it was, it was useless. What I do you use I don't know, bro. Right. Like, I see it glistening, and I feel like I have to touch it. Fair like, enough. I might not ever use it, but just want to see what it is. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Taco, I've already emailed him, so he was in the chat. He was randomly picked, so don't worry about it, guys. It's all taken care of. Whoa. People in the chat are like, he's not even in the chat. I'm like, <laughs> I already emailed him. It's good. We got it. <laughs> so why give the taco? I yeah. am right here. Yeah. I don't even like tacos. That's right. Is that even a real person? Does he have pants on? Him? He's living uh, his life. Uh, <laughs> he's got a... He's got a loincloth. <laughs> I mean, you know, do you, King? Yeah, 2018. I mean, Nobody should you tell know, you what to do. He's a shipbuilder. It's world, breezy out. Yeah. Why would you wear pants? Exactly. One with one with the water, one with nature, <laughs> one with the air. Uh, Mr. Bongi in the chat said he needs to wa watch out for uh, strong winds. <laughs> yeah. It's true. <laughs> it's accurate. I mean, I think that's what the belt's for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't even do those accents. That's the other cool thing. It reminds me of other traditional JRPGs. I won't name which one. You guys can guess which ones they are, but everyone has their own kind of like types of accents. Uh, what do we get in next? Oh, go to the throne about. room and ask Neal to, uh, about the wood you'll need to build a ship. So we Back. actually have to go back to Evermore. Easy. Pretty cool. Super Saiyan Raid, does this game have online? It does not have online. It is a single player JRPG. So if you're into story games, that is what this is. This is a single player JRPG experience. Yeah, 100%. JRPG, all my, JRPGs are my favorite genre, personally. Same here, so, dude. Yeah. Why is it your favorite? I just like the idea of getting lost into a story. Really? Because the stories, for the most part, they're explained in a way that you're, you're invested, you know, because the whole objective of it is to kind of sell you as to why you should play this game for all the hours that it's worth. Yeah. So I definitely like to see what, like, what their gimmick is to get me involved. And the, the, the whole King aesthetic, aesthetic and the plot that I can't explain to you definitely hooked me in with the first few minutes that I played. King recognized King. Yeah. 
I, I've been seeing people compare this to Persona 5 too recently, which I don't is, know what that game is. No, uh, it's it's another oh it's it's a thing okay. that is not like this thing. I just want to say it's its own experience. So people that say that don't come in here expecting it to be that. It's its own thing, and honestly, for what it is, it, it it's it's really good. So uh, Blaze RC in the chat, does it have local co-op? Nope, there is no multiplayer of any type in the game. It's all single player. Uh, yeah, is, is it similar to Tales games? I mean, it has some things that it pulls from Tales, a few things here and there, but it's its own JRPG. It's, it's a very traditional JRPG, but it's a, it definitely has its own flavor with the skirmish mode and the kingdom mode, of course. So what are we doing? We are looking for wood to build ship, to build a ship, yes? Yes. So this guy, Niall, he's from Broadleaf. He's one of the, uh, I guess you can call him kind of like a scientist or an inventor. He builds okay. things. So he tell, So now we have to go to the hardwoods in the depths of the forest of Neol. I gotcha. guess we can go there and kind of call it a day there. It's already been an hour. We've kind of shown a good amount of gameplay. So we can just kind of check out this new area here. If we can make it without getting destroyed. I think we might be able to fast travel there. Ooh, actually. if we can fast travel. Yeah. What was it? it? This one? Yeah, I think it was this one. Let's find out. Cool. Yeah, easy for us. So I, I guess it does benefit if you just want to go look around on your own. I mean, minus the fact that you could get ran into by uh, some really powerful enemies. Um, you can get fast travel points that will benefit you later on in the story. Sure. Uh, another question from Super Saiyan Ray. Do you have to play Nino Kuni 1 to understand Nino Kuni 2? No, no, it's its own thing. You, if you've never played Nino Kuni 1, you'll be fine playing this. Like, it's a standalone title. But if you have played Nino Kuni 1, uh, there are some Easter eggs that you'll see in the game. These are, so... That was really strange. Like, these enemies are around your level. Yeah, it just depends on the area. I, I guess I'd so. assume the story mode does uh, push you to grind up a little bit more. I think so what they wanted you to stuff. do there was use a tactics tweaker. And I okay. think that would have helped. I think that's what yeah. they were trying to teach you, but could have been explained better. Got you, got you. Go over. I think we gotta go climb up the branch. Yeah, that's what we gotta do. You make it where we got where it. can you get my Higgledy shirt? Oh man, ooh, that's a tough one. <laughs> that that uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll do a giveaway for them. We have like a limited quantity. These were actually used for our uh, for an event that we had for Nino Kuni two, and th that's where we got these uh, dope dope Higgledy shirts. So that's they're really not cool. available. I don't know. We, you know. Oh here, you can show it on camera. There, it's got different Higgledies right there. So super cool. Yep, there, there. And on the back too. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Do you need to pick up loot manually, or does it pick up? Yeah, I mean, if, so if you don't pick up all the loot, you it'll it'll come to you. It, like if you're on the overworld map, I don't know if you noticed that. For like, if you don't pick everything up, they'll just pop up after the enemy dies. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you I, don't I, have I did to. I that a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, you never lose loot. You'll always have it, and there is a ton of loot in this game. Yeah. It, actually, it, I don't know if you want to open up your inventory. Let's see what kind of swords you have. Show people oh, how you yeah, can swap actually, out the weapons. Actually, yeah. So with with your inventory, um, so the, go to the oh, wrong, skills. Wrong, wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, with, with the weapons you have, um, just like a regular JRPG or RPG for that matter, they show you how much damage it does, etc., etc., etc. As well with like your ranged weapons and all that stuff. So mind you, you can keep a total of three of them on you at all times, and they do matter for the zinc skill I mentioned before. Mm -hmm. And you can definitely tell from which one does damage from the the left little sword icon. I think the right one, I didn't really get into that. Do you know what the right one is for? That's defense. Defense? Okay, believe, perfect, yeah. perfect, cool. So like when you block how much damage yeah, exactly. uh, would be taken away from you. Yep. A lot of long swords. Yeah, you picked up a ton. <laughs> I think so, it might actually have been uh, good for us to like switch weapons to, well, no, I think you- I think we all have yeah, all yeah. long swords on us, so yeah. I don't think nothing else besides the long swords. And yeah, I mean, you it, can see the look change too. As exactly, well when you that's get to what it. I was just about to mention. Yeah, yeah, good point. That's pretty cool. Long sword is really like the most swagged out thing we got, Loki, if you ask me, but that's besides that, we have um, our other equipment that we can put on that kind of boost our other stats. Um, it seems like you kind of decked us out pretty nicely. Like we have the best of the best on us, I, I, feel. I tried. So it definitely does pay uh, pay a lot in the long run to that make sure you're always ring. on this. Because <laughs> if, if, if you're slacking on your, we got more abilities. Oh, we have new abilities we haven't used yet. So on Square, that would have helped. Yeah, and I guess it would have helped explore the menus a bit before we got into those fights. Maybe. Well, Maybe. The, the skills don't really matter that much. I feel. Ah. I feel like like they matter, but not in regards to damage, because that all is based on how you set up your character and levels and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. it is cool to see what else we have here, because there's a lot of new ones we have not messed with yet. I think there's one more here that we can change to, I think, I think, yeah, okay. 
And um, yeah, everybody has their own u unique stats and skills that you can see and equip for everybody. TK so. Games Live is asking if there's a crafting system. There is a crafting system. There's actually a system to craft uh, your Higgledies, like I was talking about earlier. You put I'm items into a this. cauldron, and that crafts different types of Higgledies. That's pretty cool. Okay, that's one of our new things we got. Yeah. We have... Okay, we've seen that already. And we have one more fire move that we'll never get to see because I'm dead. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, girl's about to die too. Uh, a lot of high-level enemies. I feel like the smartest thing to do in this situation is leave. <laughs> if I see a circle to get... Are, are, are we are we bamboozled? I don't think, I think, he, I think you've been bamboozled unless you can run up that okay, way. There we go. There we go. There we go. Or... Okay, there we go. I'll worry for a second. There's a lot going on. Trying to savor my team. Oh, no. We have to fight these guys no matter what. All right. Well, we can't, can't run away from all of them. So, we got Cupcake over here. I guess we could take care of... Oof. That's going to take a while. I guess if we can go this way. I think this is the, this is this is definitely the move. There we go. All right, and I think I think we'll call it a call it a wrap here. We we got into the new area. We showed a little bit. We showed a boss fight that you absolutely decimated. Yeah. My God, I, I I didn't know it was possible, but you you did it, man. Uh, so again, that one. Once again, uh, Nino Kuni 2, March 23rd, pre-order your collector's edition. The premium editions are still available. The day one edition. So make sure you get it. It is. If you're looking for an epic, meaty JRPG, would you agree this is the one yes, to get? Yes, 100%. Excellent. Cool. Uh, Afro, where can they find you, my friend? Uh, Twitter, YouTube, um, Afro sends you XLTM, uh, XLTM Silent, so Afro sends you, you'll find me. I do stuff that includes anime. I like Naruto and Dragon Ball Z, but I do a lot of other stuff that is not that, too. So You yeah. just did an unboxing for Nino Kuni yeah, 2, right? Yeah, I did. Check With, that out, and you're also going to be mm -hmm. doing some previews for you? Yes, me? yes, cool. yes. So, so check them out there. And uh, yeah, just uh, stay tuned to our Twitter, Bandai Namco US, for more info. Maybe we'll give, be giving away the Higgledy shirts. And thanks again for joining us, guys. We'll see you next time. Peace. Goodbye. I'll miss you. I am missing you right now.